Linville Gorge. And uh, we got us a camp spot tonight that's like no other. It is nice. And there's a steep sheer wall over there. And we're gonna hike down to the bottom of Linville Gorge, down the Linville River, and uh, hopefully survive there, going there and coming back up. So I think it's gonna be a super fun day tomorrow. It's gonna be challenging, but also we're gonna get some good views of, uh, I think, Short Off and uh, the river and Daffodil Flats. We are, uh, we got a little fire going here and we're trying to dry out some of that green wood. That is some spicy, spicy, spicy stuff right there. Spicy pork, rice, kimchi. You can kind of see the sun reflecting off the gorge there as it goes down. All right, babe, you gonna swap down to the edge. Look at the quartz in that rock. Lead the way you got the light. The next morning here, we're gonna head just up the road here, not even a half a mile to the Pinch Inn trailhead. And we're gonna try to hike Pinch Inn down to the uh, the Gorge Trail, or which is part of the MST, hang a right, go to Daffodil Flat, a, somewhere between 1,800 and 2,000 foot of elevation in just under 1.4 miles, I think. So it's going to be steep. So we'll pick you up on the trail. We're at the Pinch Inn Trail. Pinch Inn. Yeah. Get warmed up because it gets steep fast. I could tell by the topography lines. You want me to go first? Or you want to go first? No, I want to go. All right. Get that blood warmed up. I can go ahead and tell you I gotta tighten my left shoe. Might as well go ahead and do that right now because it's gonna it's gonna create a blister if I don't. It's getting steep already. Babe, just take your time. You know I will. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, we don't have to, but the other trail that comes out is just as bad. I don't think it's steep yet. I think it gets steeper. Yeah, just watch the pine straw. You can slip on that stuff. <laughs> what do you think so far? Yeah, this will be a, a fun uh, hike coming up, that's for sure. Amateur hiking tip. When you're going down like this, make your hiking poles longer. And that way you can you can support yourself. You can put them down in front of you and you'll have more support. Tell you what, this is also a good test of if your shoes fit, right? Because this pushes your uh, pushes your big toe into your <coughs> into the front of your shoe bed. <laughs> Yeah. Getting hot already, isn't it? <laughs> I don't like stopping my momentum.
think we can get down in an hour. Did you uh, start your watch? I didn't, I forgot. Holy crap. Yeah, so hopefully we're in for some good views because uh, we're we, yeah we left uh, what nine o'clock? What time is it? at the topography map and I can see the lines were super close together once you get about a six tenths of a mile through here I'm a better I mean climbing is harder but climbing is also easier in a way you don't have to support as much weight on your knees but We stayed at a uh, campsite just down the road last night. It was beautiful. Nice views. G Money cooked a nice dinner. We had a few drinks. Right, babe? Yeah. Hidden gem, I tell you. If you haven't been up old NC 105, a lot of people are hesitant about coming up here on a two wheel drive without clearance. And while I don't think it's necessary to have four wheel drive or all wheel drive at all, you can come up here on a low clearance car. You just have to be very cognizant of the ruts and keep kind of parallel to the rut versus perpendicular. Otherwise it might, it might tear a, a bumper off or scrub under the bottom. Yeah, see, this is kind of stuff I like to climb. It's gonna get really rocky. Schmoody, schmoody, schmickety booty. Don't step on these loose rocks because they'll roll right down the hill. <laughs> Take out your partner. <laughs> right, babe? It's supposed to be, I guess, 60 degrees a day, something like that. I can tell you this, I'm gonna be shedding layers. I've got a, a hat on and a neck gaiter. 
and I've got sunscreen on too, but I'm just protecting my neck from the, uh, the sun because the, the sun is brutal on the side of this mountain. It just, same thing that gives you life can like bake you. Babe, did you sleep good last night? Did you sleep good last night? You did? I slept pretty good, but I swear I have to like pee every time. Every time I get the, yeah. Every time I would just do those off. My head did get a little cold at one point, but I pulled the covers over me and other than that, I feel pretty energized. You're right, if it, I'm hoping it gets steeper than this because a lot of people really pump this trail up about being super steep. But, I mean, I'm not sure it will be when we're climbing it. But most people get hurt going down. Very few people get hurt climbing up. Monkey, monkey. Monkey, funky, monkey. There's supposed to be a view up here, a big rock at home to, to get a view of the, gorge or whatever, but. Yeah, I think they come together. Yeah. Yeah. Take the one that's the easiest for you. It's pretty flat right here. I've got a map. I've got a paper map in my uh, backpack. And I was, like I said earlier, I looked at the topography lines. And uh, I don't think we've seen the steep stuff yet. But... When they start getting close together on the map, you know it's going to be some... changing elevation. Oh yeah, this is a good view right here. Wow, babe. hiking sticks. She stole my hiking plus sticks. My microphone's still on. Shanks, babe. You want one? No. Just to help, help like that? It helps your, it helps, you'll, you'll be able to tell it at the end of the day because it takes the weight off of your knees when you're like jar down. Oh. You support your weight. They're not good for climbing. Climbing, I'll probably just tote them. But that jarring effect. Yeah, that's what I was saying. If you had a stick, you support your weight. Keep it straight. That's a trick. I think there's probably a view area. There's supposed to be a rock up here that you can climb on. 
Эти беси. Эти беси, спайдер. I tell you what, if the trees won't here, I'd mountain bike down this damn thing. This reminds me a lot of the uh, mountain bike trails in Pisgah. You haven't been to those yet, babe, but they're all kind of trench cut like this, very rugged. Some fun stuff. You got a little steep step right there, babe. If you want to avoid it. So yeah, we camped out last night, it's fun times, as usual. No problems getting up here on the van. I think the, the campsite was actually rougher than the road. <laughs> yeah, it's starting to get a little bit steeper now. So, we did, uh, <laughs> we did come up here with hardly any gas in the van though, <laughs> which I don't know if that was a good move or not. Right, babe? Oh, the, the fuel light has been on for 20 some miles. <laughs> so I'm hoping we can coast <laughs> down the hill and get to a gas station. Otherwise, I'm gonna be sending the SOS for somebody to bring some gas. chimney over here yeah somebody camped out here recently Pinching. We're probably a couple tenths of miles in. It is kind of our first view. That's a pretty good view. Pretty good view. Thank you. Uh, somebody probably camped out there but yeah you could use it as a fire rescue that's not it is it we can, we went through here right There's a. We came down from up there. We got a um. We got a flying down. Yeah. No, we didn't speed it up. <laughs> Anyhow, let's go. I want to. I was hoping we could make it down on one battery, but. I don't know this battery. The batteries were cold last night. Oh. 
what is it, Tuesday? Tuesday today, right? Yeah. <laughs> no. No, yeah, I feel good. They'll probably swell up a little bit. They usually do. Yeah, for sure this will be fun coming up. It's probably going to be a chilly breeze off the water down there. There's that rock I think that people are talking about. So there's your other view. It's kind of nice. Down from this rock over here. Huh? It just blocked the view. Yeah, funny. Look at the view. Yeah. I hope this is the uh, trail. <laughs> what? <Wait. laughs> what? Where's the eyeball? You, you have a map. Ba babe, I have a map, but it doesn't tell you all this stuff. You have a compass. A what? You have a compass. <laughs> <laughs> Just be careful. Keep your eyes on the prize. <sighs> yeah. Got an, an exposed face here. Ways to go. All right. Which way? Uh, down, babe. Really? No. <laughs> that way? Oh, I'm hoping wow. this is the right way. If not, we might have to climb back up and find the trail. <sighs> right, babe? <Yeah. laughs> Goes down over there. Good. Yeah. So there's the first uh, kind of rock thing you can climb on. There's the. We haven't come that far yet. I think this was like a half a mile in, right? Uh, no, seven. Point seven. Point seven. Point seven. Twenty-nine minutes. So we are nine oh five now. Halfway. Thirty minutes. We have a little bit of lag. Yeah, somebody said they could do it in an hour. I figured we probably could because we we're pretty fast. Uh, what is that animal? Oh, little monkey. Little... Ooh, ooh, ah, ah. Ooh, ooh, ah, ah. Oh, pink monkey. Pink monkey. monkey. Brown monkey. Black monkey. Black monkey. Funky monkey. All right. 
Babo gets a little bit steep here. What's the best way? Go through here and then go down there? Just... Yeah, this is gonna be fun coming up. I'm just being extra precautious. Right, babe? <laughs> you don't want to. <laughs> yeah, you just don't want to twist or pull or do anything while you're out here because that is not smart at all. What? Yeah, there was a forest fire out here. Sometime, I think it was 2017 on our street. Yeah, when I go out, my point is to uh, to make it so nobody has to rescue me. That's my goal. Have fun and be self-reliant as much as possible. I mean, shit happens, but you can make some decisions along the way that help steer the outcome. Right, babe? <laughs> yeah. He's definitely steep. Carefully. Yeah. Two hours at least. I think, uh, I mean, the climbing is going to be more taxing, but it's going to be easier on your body. You know what I mean? Harder on your lungs, easier on your body. Like your joints. Cause you won't be, yeah, your knee joints. That's the stuff you had to watch out for is those little loose rocks. Step on those, it's like ice skating. Yeah, that's the Limble River. 
that's where we're going. But part of what you're hearing too is the wind whipping through the canyon, through the gorge. Okay. I'm sure some of it's water, but they don't stay hydrated. No, no I don't want to pee. I'm feel like we're in a pee pee. I got toilet paper. Yeah, now I'll put it in and out. In and out. Yeah. Monkey. Right there. Right, babe. Yeah, babe. It's going to get steeper. come out of the layer in a minute. I know that. Whew. Get out of this. Uh, I think we might get a little bit of cover down here. Coming down like a frog. Babe, let me get a little bit of video of you. <laughs> let me get some video of you. Yeah, <laughs> duck walk. Yeah. We should probably stretch out a little bit when we get to the bottom so we're not so sore when we're coming up. Well, not sore, but tight. Nobody's passed us yet, so I don't know what that means, but...
You can see the mountains off in the background there. Some good views on this trail for sure. She's doing it without hiking poles, but I'm talking to the camera. But she's also low to the ground. So I just prefer having the four legs of stability. Especially if you've got to do river crossings and you don't want to get wet if you're just out on a winter hike or something hopefully you can get an idea of the steepness I know these GoPros, the wide angle here, really uh, flattens it out, but hopefully G-Money's head in relation to my camera and uh, gives you some idea. Of course, this is not a steep section right here yet. I know it will get steeper. Yeah? I don't know how accurate that is. We're not close to the bottom, I can tell you that. Are we? <laughs> Maybe they lied to us. <laughs> yeah, and I think, uh, so we're here on a Tuesday. We got up here on a Monday. There was a lot of people in the parking lot when we got here about 3 p.m. And then we got here this morning about 8.40 and the parking lot's small anyhow, but it was pretty much full. And uh, I have to, uh, there's some parking on the road, park on the side of the road. I saw people doing that. And there's some pullouts. Babe, be careful. Be careful. I heard you slip. <laughs> I heard some rocks. Yeah. King of the tours. I'm saving everything for coming up. Plus, we got a little bit of a hike at the bottom. You have a new message. Wow, you got signal? Yeah. We both have AT&T. What's your signal like, babe? We had one bar. Last be careful of that right there The pine straw on top of the rocks is slippery. Very sheer. You don't have to hike like me. I'm old and have uh, knee injuries, hip injuries, just like everybody else probably. So I just try to minimize the stress. That's why I mountain bike. A lot less stress on your knee joints for sure. 
You alright, babe? Another amateur to keep your hiking pole in front of you to going down. Do the smaller, uh, smaller steps with them. That way you can brace yourself. Cause this stuff here, it's like uh, crushed limestone or crushed stone. I mean, this is like stepping on. ice when you hit it I wouldn't do this trail if it was icy I wouldn't even try it yeah G money just runs down it be careful be careful babe that uh, crushed rock is slipped slippery see She's got that little uh, side step where she gets on the side of the trail. It's not as slippery. That's a good, she's got a good system going. Right, babe? Yeah. You got a message? Yeah, the, the group. She said, new census, uh, you haven't seen like since October, but the master surgery talked about it. You wanna, before May, sure, I just had to talk. Dang. The Chinese gay lady? Yeah. The Chinese uh, yeah, doctor? Chin. chin. That's she nice. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, coming up is going to be a bitch. I mean, a, let somebody pooped on the trail. Freaking paper everywhere. I don't know what they don't understand about. For a while, for 10 years, maybe 30 years, like this. Seems like coming in state, maybe hiking like this. No? Such a good challenge though, right? I think once you do trails like this too, like you get more confident. Yeah. I know Hana Lee wants to do the profile trail yeah. at Grandfather Mountain. What or wait, is it Grandfather? Or Mount Mitchell? Yeah, did, uh, profile trail has some ladders and cables and a lot of uh, You're on the side of the face. It's not for the faint of heart. Not that I've done it all, but I have walked out to the to the ladders. But I don't know, bro. We're nowhere close to the bottom, and we've already gone what? I think this is a shortcut. Get around that log. What does that say? 0.34 miles. Yeah, we're about 0.4 miles. Not too bad. We're on trail. Plus, I got a compass and and a uh, topography map. So, tell you what, I'm sweating. I'm gonna air out when I get to the bottom. Hey, right, babe. I was just trying to keep the sunburn off as much as possible. 
even with the uh, suntan lotion on. It's probably going to be worse though coming back up because the sun's going to be low in the sky, shining right on top of your head. Right, babe? Yeah, all I can say is be careful of those stubby stumps. Sometimes they're hard to see. They'll trip you up in a heartbeat. Ow, let go of me tree. Yeah, I would recommend grabbing on the trees. You never know when they're dead and they're just gonna snap off anyhow. Yeah, I'm guessing by the, just looking at this, the last part's really steep. Camera still going, babe? Camera still going? Camera still going? Yes, so. How long have we been going? One bar? Mine should be dying any minute now, then. I was hoping we'd make it down before it died, but. Be careful. Yep. You let me know if you need a pole. Don't let the sticks poke you in the eye. Yeah, these shoes are awesome. These Adidas Terex. If you can find a pair that fits you right. Some people had recommended wearing boots, hiking boots out here, but I don't see the need for it. Unless you got crazy weak ankles and then I wouldn't suggest hiking this trail anyhow, but that's just me. Oh my 
We're just gonna have to take our time. Take a break. Hmm. Yeah. The problem with GPS out here, they're not accurate because you're going in such tight curves. So, I wouldn't be surprised if we haven't gone 1.4 or the trail's actually longer than 1.4 down. Either one. We can uh, take a dip in the river and cool off. Right, babe? <laughs> so far, this has been a... Coming down has been a blast. I mean, there's enough on the trail to keep you interesting. You got enough obstacles. And you got a little few views. So, yeah. I take into consideration when I'm finding a van camper campsite is oh, my still on. what kind of tree overhangs are around and the shape of the tree like the shape being are they rotten does it look like three pecks from a woodpecker would uh, tumble it over I don't want to get crushed inside I mean, it's nothing you can do to prevent it, but increase. You got, you can turn the valve off. You spin it. Now I'll fix it when we get to the bottom down here. We're almost there. I can see it. I can see it. are really feeling the, uh, the vibration. It's kind of flattened out, right, babe? Yeah, we should be close. Nice job, babe. You're... You're an animal. Beast hiker. Huh? You're a beast hiker. Hiked it without hiking poles and everything. I think going up is going to be the true test. Got that right. Got that right, babe. Yeah, well, you damn sure ain't gonna get no helicopter back here. So mm -hmm. I said you damn sure ain't gonna get no helicopter back here. So if you get if you get screwed up back here, somebody's gonna have to come down here and haul your boat out. No wonder that rescue team's so tired, right, babe? Yeah. Hop on the rescue. 
I don't know, some people get lost, get hurt. On a stretcher, I guess. Backboard. side of this ridge. I see a sign. Might have lost her sunglasses. Or the reading glasses. Pinching. I think we have to go that way, but let's go down straight and see what's down here. Yep. I don't know if there's a view over here or not. I don't think this is the right way. I want to go the other way. That way we won't have to hike so much. I think this is the uh, MST going the other way. I know I want to turn right here, but... Yeah. Let's see what's over here. There it is, I can see it. Right, babe? Yeah, so we just took a right at the bottom of a pinch in. It's not really a right, it kind of just keeps going straight. I don't know what the other lookout is, but I noticed you could see the, the water from this one, so we just decided to walk over here. Ooh. Wow, it's far down. Look at the falls. I think there's better views up there, but uh, we're gonna have to stop and change out GoPro batteries anyhow. See how fally it is. Biggest uh, waterfall in the North Carolina. More. Yeah. Let's go up here and I'll bring out the map. It's nice down there. Should be a walkway down there somewhere. Yeah, I know, right? It's a lot different than what we just come down. It's almost like there's years and years of uh, leaf decay. It's like a sponge. Walking on sponge, spongy. Smilkity, smoothity.
here's a view. So nice. Look at that. So nice. Really? Time to take a shower, babe. All right, party people. We did not uh, record walking to Daffodil Flats about two miles because pretty uneventful, but you can't miss Daffodil Flats. About two miles down on the right, if you're coming from Pinch Inn, come down Pinch Inn, take a right, walk two miles down beside the, the river, the same way the river's running, and uh, you'll see this one little spot of daffodils right off the trail here. And then if you look up a little bit further, you'll see a whole flat. And you can't miss it because there's a walking path cut through here. Flats. So we got a two mile trek back to the on the gorge trail to MST back to Pinch Inn. And we hang a left on Pinch Inn and go straight up. Straight up. We've seen enough of these wacky onions and those crazy chives. Right, babe? Yeah. Let's go. We just came back from Daffodil Flats. And. The struggle starts now. Right, babe?
one step at a time. Spartan. Good morning. I try to rest before I get a cramp. do my cardio like once my heart rate gets up to like 190 something <clears throat> I'll start picking up a stomach cramp because I'm out of shape so as long as I keep it managed under that 199 
Grease. And chicken grease. Look at the view. Stepping the view.
You're not even breathing hard. He's a beast. I'm just blowing the carbon dioxide out.
Instead of just rolling back. No, I have to go like 20 feet and then I'm like, my heart rate is so high. Probably should eat a piece of chocolate. Should you eat chocolate? No, but I probably should. Get some quick energy. I'm gonna grab a piece. I can't bend down. Hmm? No, I can't bend down. Hey babe, I'll go another 20 feet. Smoky it is. Shade, babe. I'm gonna have to take a longer break right here.
So yeah. I know, right? Don't make me come over there because I can't.
careful. I don't think I even made it 200 feet that time. Right on the edge of all the the tough stuff. I don't see if that river up, up, up. Well, it's up, up, up. But this is the this section we just come through is this is the uh, steepest. <sighs> Had to burp and bongo. I didn't about trip over the same one. Shit. the rock.
Are you going? Let's get you to the top of here. I wonder why you go there. This is an easy way. This is a detour. We ran out of GoPro batteries. And we're not too far from the top. So we just thought we'd give you a little idea about how steep it is here at the top. Look at that. Look at hell. Yeah, it's pretty steep. All right, babe. Let's try to finish this thing off. She's been uh, hiking extraordinaire. I've been the slacker. Look at it. Look at it look like this. Whole thing in end. Recording? I don't think I have a. I don't mind, but I don't know. Do my memory is the thing. Was it? That climb was brutal. So you don't think Daffodil Flats is popular? Look at the parking lot and look on the side of the road out there. This is on a Tuesday. Herds everywhere. Four hours, 49 minutes, 7.25 miles. So that was down pension over to Daffodil Flats and then back. Average pace was 39 minutes, 53 seconds a mile. The climb was the killer. Elevation, that's what everybody wants to see. 2,022 feet. I'm pretty much beat. You beat, babe? You tired? Yeah, she's a hiking beast. She did really well, way better than me. All right, we're gonna wrap this video up here. We're gonna head home. Hope you guys enjoyed the content. If you haven't ever done pinch in, you should probably do it just to mark it off the list. It's uh, the down's not bad at all. The the up is uh, is brutal. It's not as steep as you think it is going down, but then when you're coming up, you you really see how steep it is. Cha cha for now. <laughs>